Hello, everyone. My name is Daniel Rivers. I am the Partnerships Director for AM Opportunities. We are an organization based in Chicago, and we've been around for more than a decade helping international medical students, recent graduates, doctors, nurses, and dentists uh, to get the clinical rotations they need uh, to either fulfill elective credit in their home country, enhance their skills uh, for their professional career, or to use to apply for residency match in the US. We have grown tremendously over the last 10 years and now service many US medical students as well as students from 92 countries, uh, at students and doctors. Uh, we have rotations available to apply uh, in the US, the UK, and many programs for online telehealth, which I will be going over a lot today uh, since it is very difficult for travel uh, in these times. I will be recording this presentation uh, and so I will send it to all of you that are on this call as well as those that were not able to attend uh, due to internet connectivity issues. With that said, I'd like to introduce Saeed uh, to say a few words to both our guests that are here now and to the guests that will be listening uh, on the recorded presentation. Saeed? Hello, everyone. My name is Saeed Hassan. Uh, basically, I'm the director of SBUB Group uh, Limited based in Birmingham, UK. We are really delighted to basically welcome uh, Mr. Daniel uh, from Chicago, USA, which will be talking about, he will be talking about uh, rotation clinic, uh, the, which one, the one they are specialized in from decades. Uh, hope you all enjoy. I will be dropping my email address and contact details if you need any help and assistance you can contact me or Daniel directly. Thank you. Great, thanks so much, Saeed. Uh, so maybe if you could pause your video just to make sure we have good connectivity. And after I complete the presentation, uh, feel free to enter any questions any of you have into the chat log. Um, again, whether you're joining this presentation now live or you are watching the video because you were not able to attend, uh, we welcome you. We hope that you are safe and healthy uh, in these times. Um, we are here to support your medical journey, uh, whether you're already a graduate or you're a current student. Um, this is through clinical rotations. Um, we have programs at more than uh, 250 clinical sites in the US, UK, and through online telehealth. Uh, I will go through a short presentation and then kind of answer any questions that you have. Uh, feel free to enter questions while I'm speaking, either uh, about what I'm talking about or if you have other questions about the pathway to working in either the US, the UK, or kind of other countries. So with that said, I will start in. Our programs are open to all medical students, um, graduates, nurses, dentists, doctors, and physical therapists. Uh, for, for medical students, many of our students uh, do get elective credit at their home medical school. Uh, for graduates, uh, these programs enhance your skills, help you to be a better medical professional, learn about the U.S. healthcare system or the U.K. if you attend a rotation there. Uh, and I will kind of go into the process and, and how and why we exist. So we were started about a decade ago uh, as it was very difficult for international medical students to come to the US. Uh, it was a long procedure, a lot of applications, and you weren't always approved. Uh, we now have more than 250 clinical site partners. Uh, they are all guaranteed rotations. Uh, it is free to create an account, free to create applications. Now, even during the COVID pandemic, we have well over uh, 150 programs still taking applications. And the way we are able to do that is really, we prepare all of our visitors for their clinical sites. We help you uh, on a one-to-one -one basis to collect all your documents, be it uh, transcripts, immunizations, um, anything else you may need to start the rotation. We're, we've already brought medical students and graduates from more than 92 countries. So we're very familiar with how these forms look uh, from different countries and helping the visitors to collect these forms. 
This takes the administrative burden off the clinical site. So really our clinical sites are there uh, to educate you, to teach you, uh, to uh, help you in your medical career, um, to help you expand your network. And they really don't have that administrative burden of collecting all your documents and approving your applications. We do all of that in-house. Uh, and when we do contract with our clinical sites, we make sure that they are open, willing, and ready to host uh, international medical students. We want you to have a good experience. Uh, we want you to have an educational experience and really learn practices and procedures that can uh, either give you the curriculum requirements you, you need for your current medical school, or if you're a graduate, to give you kind of the knowledge that will help enhance your medical skills uh, for your future patients. In the US, we offer both hands-on and observerships. In the UK, it is observership only, and online telehealth has both options. Now, uh, there is not much difference between the two. In both cases, you are performing differential diagnoses, you are giving active case presentations, you are expanding your network of medical students and doctors uh, in the country you're attending and around the world. Uh, you're learning about patient interaction in these countries. With hands-on rotations, uh, you will be interacting with the patients uh, and doing non-invasive procedures. So taking diagnostics, uh, filling out forms, uh, asking questions, but there is a little bit more of the patient's interaction. That being said, uh, most of our doctors that come simply uh, complete observerships. Again, these are all very in-depth educational experiences, clinical rotations at the clinical sites, be it private practice, clinics, or large teaching hospitals. Now, I said I would dive into our online telehealth programs a bit more because right now with the travel uh, limited, um, with the scare of COVID exposure, uh, students, and doctors from around the world are, are kind of logging in to apply for our clinical experiences that are online. Now with these programs, you are going to learn about online telehealth and how it is used in the US. You're going to still have all the same outcomes of coming in person and doing an in-person rotation, including the patient interaction, differential diagnoses, and from what we've found, most of our visitors so far have claimed that they actually develop a better uh, connection with the preceptor during these programs, as it is a closed environment, just like this call today. Um, you are interacting with the preceptor, you're viewing patient interaction with that doctor uh, and participating, uh, giving your diagnoses, viewing any diagnostic tests, blood work, um, EKG scans, uh, and kind of uh, giving your opinions on those. This is of course going to save you on costs. There's no flights, housing, insurance uh, that, that you need for these programs. Um, so definitely cost savings. Now, whether you take an online telehealth program now from your home country, or you wait and come for either a hands-on or observership uh, in the United States once travel opens up uh, in your region, all types of programs result in the same uh, LOR, letter of recommendation. Uh, the online telehealth programs, the letter of recommendation, does not state that the program was through online telehealth. Uh, all letters of recommendation simply talk about who you are, your knowledge, your enthusiasm, um, and can be used to apply for the U.S. residency match. Now, the benefits of these programs are many. I've listed a few here. Uh, obviously, we do suggest that all medical students uh, attend a rotation in another country, uh, whether it's through online telehealth clinical rotations or in person. This is the same for U.S. medical students as well. Um, so it's really important to get exposure to another medical system, uh, whether it's a private practice, a clinic, or a large teaching hospital. Uh, this is going to enhance your CV. Uh, help you for your residency application, either in the US, the UK, or in your home country. Uh, and really, other benefits include kind of if you're a medical student, I do work with medical schools 
to ensure curriculum requirements are met so that you can get elective credit for the rotation. Um, and that includes, again, our online telehealth programs. We are the largest clinical marketplace in the world, and I'll kind of uh, just take you on our site in a second. Uh, we do have personalized world-class support in the sense that we hold these uh, training uh, presentations. We have a team of advisors that can help you choose the right program for you. And then once you reserve, we assign you a one-to-one -one success coach that will work with you uh, on everything you need to uh, be ready for the program on day one. Our process is simple and transparent, so it's to create an account, free to create an application, uh, and then the price is all, all listed in the programs. Once you create an account, if we do have any discounts offered, we will send emails about those. Uh, in different months, we do have different uh, discount programs offered. Oops. So in just a second, I will uh, pull up the platform for you. Um, so how are we addressing COVID-19? Well, number one, we're offering many telehealth clinical experiences, more than 20 to choose from right now in a variety of spe specialties. These again, allow you to earn the LOR, increase your clinical knowledge, and, and gain more skills just from the comfort of your own home. Um, we're updating our sites regularly. So if you are coming to the US or the UK, we are in constant contact with our clinical sites, uh, making sure they're not in a COVID hotspot zone, that when you do come, you will be protected, uh, that they are giving personal protective equipment. Uh, so we're checking with our physicians on a weekly basis at our more than 250 clinical sites. Uh, we're also providing many resources. So we do have a blog, which I will post in the chat, uh, where you can read more uh, about what we're doing around COVID-19. We're also waiving any switch fees. So if you do reserve an in-person rotation, say in November or December, uh, and at that time you are still not able to come to the United States due to travel restrictions or fear of COVID, uh, we can move that program ahead to next year and there will be no additional fees charged like we used to do in the past. So how does it work? Well, uh, first you kind of create an account, then you can search from our more than 200 clinical sites, upload your CV or resume. That's the only document we need for you to create an account. Uh, and I'm sorry, to create an application. Then you apply. Once you are approved, uh, and we generally approve applications within 48 hours, after you're approved, uh, we will uh, ask you to pay the deposit, which will reserve your spot. You are not reserved until you pay that deposit. After you pay that deposit, we assign you the one-to-one -one success coach and then work with you to complete enrollment and prepare for your rotation. So there are many documents needed uh, to attend a rotation, be it online telehealth or in the UK or the US, um, but all you need to apply is your CV, just stating you're either a current medical student from year one all the way up to graduates or a doctor, nurse, dentist, or physical therapists. Uh, please put in your resume any clinical work you've done in the past, uh, any research work you've done, any work experience in a hospital setting, um, and kind of a statement of purpose is always good. Why do you want to attend kind of an online telehealth clinical rotation or a rotation uh, in the US uh, in pathology or neurology or whatever the specialty is? A statement of purpose really helps us as well. One website that I'd like to kind of share with you is Visa Wait Times. Um, right now, uh, there are many offices that are closed, but you can kind of just go in and uh, type a location. Let's say London, for example. Uh, London has emergency appointments available. Uh, in some cases, uh, health uh, clinical rotations can get in, but in most cases they are not. You have to wait until the visa offices for normal appointments. Um, but some other locations, Beijing for example, are completely closed. 
and other offices are are now open and do have uh, wait times listed, maybe 10 days, 